Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and this is the Weeks Nest DIY. I am so excited about today's video because I am sharing with you my first ever IKEA video. I have some really easy IKEA decor hacks and ideas for you to transform some kind of plain and simple items from IKEA and make them not only aesthetically pleasing but functional for your home. So let's get started. For our first IKEA decor hack, we will be using this set of three cork trivets. Now, these can be used obviously as their intended purpose, but they are a great canvas for a DIY hack. When I went on the IKEA website, I saw some fun DIY options for these cork trivets. So I wanted to kind of pull inspiration from that and show you two ways to style these trivets. So for the first option, we're gonna use this faux leather piece from Hobby Lobby. This is $4.99 before a coupon and you can find it in the ribbon or sewing section of your Hobby Lobby. I used this in a recent DIY, which I will have down in the description box below. I love adding leather lately to projects. It really just gives a nice high end look. So I went ahead and cut a piece off of the roll. And what you're gonna wanna do, since this will be a pocket um, for the wall, you're going to first see what you need to cut off of that faux piece of leather. Since this leather piece is black, I'm using a brighter pen so I can see where to make my cuts. And you're going to want to cut along the curved line at the bottom, but leave some squared spacing as you'll see me do here so that you are able to actually fold it to the back of the Ikea trivet so you can adhere it with some hot glue. Since this will be a functional wall pocket, you're going to want those two sides squared off like that so you have enough to hot glue to the back. Now, once everything is cut and you make sure that it fits to the curve on the bottom of the trivet, it is time to hot glue and we're gonna start out with the front of this piece first. Now we're gonna move on to the back. And for that, we're gonna take some hot glue first on the cork trivet itself, fold over that faux leather ribbon, make sure you don't burn yourself like I just did there. And then I'm gonna secure it with a cut craft stick and a little bit more hot glue. That way when we actually put things into this wall pocket, you won't have anything fall out of place. Also, today's video is a collab with Anna Sophia over at Fia Garcia DIY. I am so happy to be collabing with her today. She does so many great budget-friendly DIYs, but specifically her thrift flips and her IKEA videos are some of my absolute favorites. Anna Sophia really is so talented. Everything that she makes always looks so crisp and professional. So be sure to check out her channel. Let her know that I sent you, and if you were stopping by from her channel, hello and welcome, and I would love to have you hit that subscribe button and join my Weeks Nest family. For the second IKEA trivet, we will be using these decorative knobs from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to leave these as is, and we are going to make this a hanging piece perfect for necklaces, or if you're going to use this in a craft room like I am, it'd be great for like a random measuring tape or something like that. So really easy, you're just gonna poke the knobs through and then use the hardware that it comes with to make sure that they stay in place. And for that third Ikea trivet, we are going to do the same thing we did for the first, but using this kind of camel color faux leather ribbon instead. Now, let me know if you enjoy Ikea decor hacks and DIY videos by giving this video a thumbs up or by letting me know in the comments. This is the first Ikea video that I have done. I don't live too far from one, but I definitely think I wanna start incorporating more Ikea videos on my channel. So if you're interested in that, then definitely let me know. Now to hang all three of the trivets, we'll be using this faux leather ribbon that I've used in a ton of DIYs so far on my channel. Really easy, just cut three pieces even to size, secure them to the back with some hot glue and a craft stick, and you have these three really fun functional trivets. Now these would be great in a room to put jewelry in or even 
makeup brushes in a vanity area. I'm putting this in my craft room, using this for some paint brushes and my measuring tape. And I love how easy, budget friendly this was using Ikea cork trivets. And I love being able to bring some fun and function into my decor. Our second Ikea DIY hack will be using this cutting board. And I love this as is. It's really pretty with the natural wood. So we're gonna leave this alone. But we'll be turning this into a functional mini shelf using two 21 inch long pieces of this faux leather ribbon from Dollar Tree. This hack could not get any easier. You're just gonna lay your two pieces of faux leather ribbon underneath your cutting board, and then you're gonna have the back piece be a little bit shorter than the front. Having the front part of the ribbon be a little bit longer is what's gonna help give this mini shelf some stability when we hang it. And to do that, I just cinched the two pieces of ribbon together with a thumbtack. A nail would also be fine if you are using something heavier on this shelf. So cinch the two pieces of ribbon together, just put it right in the wall like that. And this would be a great mini shelf to add to your kitchen, to add some spices, depending how much space you have in your kitchen, you can make one or a few of these. or even in a laundry room to have some oils and some dryer balls if you use those. Our next IKEA DIY, we will be using another cutting board, but this time we will be using this as a tray. So this is really pretty, again, as is. I love the natural elements to IKEA items, so I really didn't wanna do a lot of painting and wanted to leave them as is. We'll be taking four of these wooden tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna hot glue two of them together so that they are a little bit thicker and then we'll have two sets of legs. Then just hot glue them evenly on the bottom and it gives a little bit of a raised look to this with a little bit more of a modern touch. Now to style this piece, we'll be using this faux greenery from Ikea. Again, going back in with that faux leather ribbon. I'm just loving this lately. And taking some hot glue and adding it to the top of the plastic container that this faux greenery comes in. I feel like it's such an easy thing to do and it instantly makes it look a little bit more put together and high end. And since this piece will be going in my guest bath, I picked up one of these glass soap containers from Ikea, and we are gonna take that leather ribbon, the thicker piece that we used in our first DIY with the trivet, and cut a piece to size so that we can wrap it around the soap dispenser. And to adhere, we're gonna use some Mod Podge. You're gonna to wanna to add a generous amount on the backing of this faux leather piece. You could use hot glue, but I felt that the hot glue would just add a little bit of bumps underneath. And once you have it spread out, you're just going to wrap and roll that around your soap dispenser. To make sure that the leather stays on, you're just gonna add a little bit more Mod Podge to the end and then wrap and press that good and it stays on perfectly to your soap dispenser. So really simple, the small addition of the wood pieces on this just gives it a little bit of height and makes it look more like a tray. And this is such a great and functional way to take a cutting board and have it be a surface for some little accessories, faux greenery, or a soap dispenser like this, which will be going in my guest bathroom.
And our last IKEA DIY hack is perfect for those mamas who are looking for a way to hide all the plastic toys that you probably have all over your floor. So I found this really pretty basket. This is actually meant to hold a plant in, and I thought it was the perfect size and shape to store toys discreetly. So this, like I said, is a great basket size. Any basket that you like or size from Ikea will do. And I am using this wood round from Hobby Lobby. Now this is $16.99. I used a 40% off coupon, but you can also go get wood rounds from Home Depot or Lowe's and that would fit for this project as well. So I wanted to put the wood round piece on top just to kind of hide all of the toys that are in it. And I decided to add these two handles to either side so it looks a little bit more finished. And all you do is attach those handles, screw them in to your board, add whatever you want into your basket. And once you are done adding it, you can put this topper on and it has everything nice and organized and you don't have to see the mess that's inside. So I hope you enjoyed these IKEA DIY decor hacks. Let me know down in the comments which of these hacks you enjoyed the most and if you would like to see more IKEA videos to come. Also, don't forget to check out Anna Sophia's channel. I will have that down in the description box below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.